know God made me And I know God loves me And He knows What's best for me Cause He knows Every single thing And I believe His promise is true Cause everything He says He will do On a Sunday
Well, greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to another preschool chapel. It's me, Pastor Stephen, and I'm hanging out here in my backyard, gearing up and getting ready for our summer Bible story series. We're going to be talking about some cool Bible stories, some that you've heard before, and also diving into some new ones this summer. Today, we're talking all about God's wonderful creation. Yes, all the cool things that God has created and all the neat animals God has made on this earth. When I think of God's creation, I think of cool animals like the wood frog, who can almost completely freeze during the winter. His heart stops and everything, but when the snow melts, he comes back to life like it's no problem. Or I think of animals like the duck-billed platypus, who has the bill of a duck, the body of a beaver, lays eggs like a lizard, swims like a fish, is an amazing, incredible animal that God created. And once its eggs hatch, it keeps its babies in its uh, pouch near its belly, just like a kangaroo. Pretty neat, right? It's an animal that lives in Australia and it's one of God's creatures. Well, one of my favorite animals that the Bible talks about is the behemoth, talked about in Job chapter 40, verse 15. It's this big animal that lived on the earth long ago. Some even think that it might have been the dinosaurs that we dig up even today. It had a big tail like a cedar tree and it ate grass like an ox. And it was this amazing, amazing giant creature that only God could control. Well, boys and girls, let's not waste any more time and let's check out how God did, in fact, create the world and all the cool things that he created and how he did it. Let's, let's listen in. Stories of the Bible Creation In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, Let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree, and God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, Let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Hello, Leo. The birds in the sky. Hello, bird. And all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. 
and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work, and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Whoa, boys and girls, that was awesome. I love hearing how God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. That's so awesome to hear how God created light and then dark and then separated the day from the night and made the land and the ocean and all the birds and the trees and then made us, man and woman, as the people that we're gonna rule over all creation and have dominion, that means be the kings and queens of the earth, uh, taking care of God's animals in the way that God wanted us to. Isn't it so neat to hear that that was one of the purposes that God created us for? I love hearing about that and talking about it. Well guys, there's one thing that we can learn about our video today is that God's creation is like a mirror that reflects his character. And even though we live in a fallen world and sin has entered that world and not made things the way they're supposed to be, we still see little glimpses of who God is in creation. All the amazing creatures and the amazing things God makes, it tells us a little bit about how great God is. Even when we look at ourselves and how special we are, how, how God made us, man and woman, it's really cool to think about that we reflect like a mirror the image of God and how God has made us super special in His image and that we reflect a little bit of that. Well guys, I want you to remember God loves you, he made you for a purpose, and even though sin has entered into the world, God gives us a way that we can be forgiven of our sin and be made a new creation. Boys and girls, when you trust in Jesus, that you believe that Jesus was God, he came to earth, died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead, God makes us a new creation in Jesus. If you haven't believed that yet, boys and girls, well this summer, 2021, is the perfect time to do so. And if you have any questions, you can talk to your teacher or your mom and dad about it. Well, guys, God bless you very much. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take it easy.